it's Titan and Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, here's a list of my socials down below. Also, if you want to interact with me, you can also do that in the Friendly Vibes Discord group. Here's the Instagram page right here. Or if you have any questions on the group or if you want to see what it's about, DM the uh, Instagram account right here or you can ask myself. This group helps me get a lot of the sneakers I have obtained in my collection for retail or close to it. And y'all know I do have a unique size. And I ask that you hit that like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of today's video. Also, hit that notification bell if you don't mind so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on YouTube. Now today we're going to take a look at a sneaker, uh, it's set to release December 10th, uh, this is considered an early review but not so early due to the fact that these were part of the sneakers that were burglarized in the trailers at Nike up in Memphis, Tennessee. We had a shock drop of these and also they've had E8 on the sneakers app. I was part of the people that got these on the shock drop doing that sneakers live heating up episode and that was the beginning of me personally having trouble to enter to purchase a pair of sneakers on the sneakers app. I had to I had to stop watching the live, I had to go out, come back in the app and try because I was tapping on the price and it would not bring up the sizes in order for me to purchase. So I called hell trying to get this sneaker. At one point I almost gave up. As we look at the box, you know what this is. Yeah, I almost gave up and uh, I just kept trying. And I was blessed enough by the sneaker guys to have this size 15 B Nord available to me and also a grade school pair that I uh, was able to purchase on the sneakers app. I'm gonna read the label to you. White, varsity red, and black is the colorway. And if you didn't know, this is the Air Jordan Retro 11 and the cherry colorway. We went old school with it. Black top, Air Jordan on top, Red Jordan Jumpman with the gray bottom. And it's a take off top, take off top, and no uh, lot stamp on the inside. You got your black trash bag paper. Gotta have that. Couple things in the bottom. See that wide CM sticker. Got the lines in there. Make it a wide DM sticker. And your gold QC sticker in here with red writing. And that's all that comes in the box. No extra laces. No anything. This is the box. Let's get into the sneakers. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jordan Retro 11 in a cherry red or varsity red colorway but these are nicknamed the cherry 11s this is the christmas 11 of this year of 2022 a lot of people are gonna be trying to get these you're gonna see a whole lot of families with the mom the dad the stepdaddy the stepmama and the stepkids and the newborn baby with these right here on now we're gonna get into the review we got that mesh upper in the white colorway and you got your one two three four five six you have your six lace eyelets which is standard on your jordan levels you have that varsity red high cut patent leather and you have your embroidered jaw jump man right here on the heel with some decent leather but it's probably that f-a-u-x leather oh midsole white midsole and you got the translucent hit at the very bottom of your midsole what leads to the outsole here we go, herringbone traction in a varsity red colorway right here on the heel. Look like a set of dentures. And also up here on the forefoot. You do have a Jordan Jumpman underneath the translucent part, which is white. You got the, the Jumpman is white, there it is. And you can see underneath there, you got that carbon fiber right here. Gotta make it official and pluck the carbon fiber and you got the rest of the bottom is translucent you can see that clear translucent sit on the top of those items you do have like a little bubble looking thing right here here and here 
this is the heel of the sneaker. We got two, three on the heel, and it's like, it's not embroidered on, but it's that other thing. Two, three right there. And looking at the medial side of the sneaker, there is no jaw jump man on the heel, which is pretty much the only difference from the medial and the lateral side of the sneaker. And the other difference is that carbon fiber right here is on the medial side of the sneaker. However, you do have that mesh upper, that white leather, white, I'm sorry, that white mesh upper, excuse me, and you have your six eyelets which is white as well. High cut varsity red patent leather and that white midsole with the translucent hit at the very bottom. And get a good look. Something about the patent leather on a retro 11 day gets people going crazy around Christmas time. Cause this one they decide to drop their uh, shoe and it's actually been nicknamed the Christmas shoe to some of us in the sneaker community. Uh, reach inside. They just been stuffing every shoe with tissue, guys. I guess they did away with the uh cardboard shoe trees, the die cut sock line of shoe trees. And you come with one set of laces. You got the white rope laces, like you see on the 11s. And you have that that mesh upper, same material that's on the tongue. And as always, you got the sword on pitch right here in the middle of the tongue. It says uh, Jumpman. You got the John Jumpman logo, which is red right there, and it says John. You have to read it like this because it's sideways if you're going to view it like that. But it says Jumpman John. And get to the top of the sneaker. There is nothing on top of the tongue. Flip it around. You can read it. There you go. Quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. And the inside of the sneaker, you can see that uh, varsity red sock liner. And look deep down in here. White Jordan Jump Man. And you do have a sticker in here. Side 15 gang. Side 15 B Nards. You have a varsity red insert. And I'm going to see if I can get a look at that sizing tag for you guys. They put it in an odd location, not sure. Oh my goodness. It's hard for me to read. Well, I got this tag right here. See, size 15. And production date is May 11th of this year to... June 23rd of this year, so about a month and a half for production with these Cherry 11s, guys. So let me know your thoughts. Will you be allowed to get these, or are you gonna try to get these when they drop on December 10th? And I say it allowed because recent history shows if you were able to purchase these on the shot drop or EA, you are not be allowed to purchase this same size category on release day. Some people have had the opportunity to double dip and I tip my hat to them and some haven't. So this the sneaker. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and like I always tell you before I go if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.